Hey guys, how's it going? Well, a few tutorials back, I showed you a method of defining functions in Scilab, which looked somewhat like this, where we had an output variable a, then the function name, which is f, the input parameters or arguments, and then we defined the output variable, that is the value that will be returned whenever this function f is called. Now in this video I'm gonna show you another way of defining a function and it is a really cool and neat way of defining a function very quickly and it can even be done in the console so I'm just going to head over to this console to define this function. So in order to do, do this what we need to do is we need to use the function def that is d-e-f-f. -F. Now in the first argument of this function or the parameter um, well instead of just um, telling you what it is let me just show you how it is done so just follow what I'm writing okay so f x so here a is the output variable then f is the function name then x is the input variable and this whole expression is to be enclosed within single quotes and then the second argument would be the definition of this output variable so I'm just uh, giving the value of a in this expression and make sure that you enclose this within single quotes too and then the brackets and that's it so if I want to calculate f of 2 then I get 4 because the function returns x squared and x squared of 2 is 4. So it is a very quick and neat way of defining functions where you need to just give the output variable, then the function name, the input parameters and then just the definition of the output variables. And in case your function contains several lines or several mm -hmm. statements or expressions then you can even handle that using this function def just the difference would be that you will first be calculating let's say well let's say I show you a new function that looks something like this where first I calculate B then I calculate A which would be B times X so let's uh, have to convert this function uh, by into a function that can be created using this function def so how can I create a function that has two statements or expressions using the function def so what you need to do is you need to first of all add square bracket then the first expression would be written with within single quotes then you will also need to give a semicolon because the semicolon would be you know separating the statements then the second expression or the statement would be given as this b times x and then again make sure that you add the semicolon because it is well this time you don't need to add a semicolon because I have only two statements but if I had most statements that I would be adding uh, I would be separating the statements using semicolon and make sure that the statements are enclosed within single quotes and also don't forget the square bracket and just hit enter and we get a warning that is we are redefining the function f and we are okay with that and now let's find out so basically what this function is doing is it is calculating x squared then it is calculating x squared times x so that is x cube basically so the x cube of 3 is 27 and we get 27 so that's it and that's how you define a function using def I just wanted to make this video so that I covered all the possible ways of uh, you know defining functions uh, in the previous video I already told you several of the customizations of this method in which we could have multiple output variables we could have uh, an output matrix and I sh 
that was a pretty lengthy, lengthy video in which I explained this method of defining function very deeply so I just wanted to take some time out and make another video in which we could define the function using def because if you you know study some literature on scilab then this is going to pop up a lot so you need to know what it is and understand it very carefully so that's it and if you have any questions don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below i'll be glad to help you out and don't forget to like and subscribe it helps a lot and thanks for watching and have a great day ahead